Isn't she the most pretty woman you've ever met in your entire life? I hate this bitch. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hang on, I need to turn down the the volume on the, I just turned it up. <laughs> turn it up the way to 100. Anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Wright. Uh, bonus to the Rise of the Ashes. Starring me, who didn't look up beforehand where we're supposed to go. So Kim is gonna fuck around for a little bit and find out. Alright, let's see. I did talk to her about everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I examined everything to the best of my ability like a good little boy. Um, it's really ashes. I examined the fence. I examined the car. I examined that. I examined the barrel. I examined A. Okay. okay. Day two investigation. I guess just keep dicking around till you find something until I find the, the thing for this. Okay. Yep. That's finding blood trails. That's about the knife. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can I move to? We haven't been to the office. Does she have anything to talk about? Oh. Well. Where, where should we begin? Oh, well, isn't it obvious we should begin with the, you know, that thing? The mystery of the victim, I guess? How how could one man, Detective Goodman, be killed in two places simultaneously? Oh, well, you see... We should go to the police department. The evidence room, was it? Uh, I'm not being very useful here, am I? No, no, you're being very helpful. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Huh. In the, uh, go to the court record. You can spray that shit anytime you want. In the last one, you can spray that anywhere. Oh. Should we spray by the window seal? See if they did a good job? <laughs> Cleaning up the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, so you can do that any- Maybe we're trying to find something like that. You know, you sell lunches. Or maybe another key. Okay. I mean, what? Um, uh, detective. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy, with all those rumors. You were even in the defendant's chair just this past December. He was like, oh, I want to kill myself. <laughs> there was a business with him not reading that officer's report. Ah, uh, about the killing at the, po the police department, right? The chief of police was right about that. <laughs> I can't help but think. Someone in the police department doesn't like Edgeworth. I mean, he's so lovable. Alright, you'll see you want to examine and move back to the police entrance while you're there. Oh! Spray! Yeah, I figured that was, that was the case. That's why I came back here. Yeah. So that there is... Uh. Wait, try about the cactus again? Look on the top. What the? Examine! Forensics! Wow, we, we got a reaction. Hmm, there's clearly blood around the spine's ear. This room's pretty messy. Someone must have tripped over something. And planted their head right on these spikes. I think that might be more painful than being murdered. Oh, yeah, getting the fucking shit in there. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm cleaning it. It's all gone oh, now. Doing this on the HD iOS port unlocks the On Billy's Head achievement. Cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> so we get an achievement. That's it. I guess. All right. In the police department entrance, you meet Gumshoe, who tells you, you need, that you should talk to the the suspect in the evidence room stabbing. Move to the detention center. Talk to Meekins about all this shit. Did we present him Goodman's ID badge? Oh, I don't think I ever did. We- <laughs> I didn't realize that I needed to give him that one- We gave him fucking two knives. <laughs> yeah. We never showed him the fucking cop thing. Oh, I picked that a scab on my leg and now I'm bleeding again. Uh, do you think you can take a look at this? Hey! 
That's it, sir. That's it. That's it. Is the plushie on you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's what? A guy. <laughs> My brain has been blank until this very moment. But, sir, I remember now. I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct. I'm just realizing his band his hand's bandaged and he keeps fucking slamming it, so he's just hurting his fucking wounded hand. <laughs> Correct, that car that car was the cause of all of it. This ID card? Exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing. I better pry on this one little this one a little deeper. We got it. Dig a little deeper. Oh, when, 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 he, when he said pry into it, I died just accidentally and pressed it again. I, Poor hand. <laughs> oh, thank god. I think I'm about to press on it again. Oh, thank god. Alright, crime- oh, oh my- <laughs> You know what, I, I should slow things I down. Love, I love you so much. Hello, because I was looking out in the shock series and maybe I didn't be with you in the crime. Crime details. Can you tell me about what you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost little patrolman. A lost little lamb, if you will. <laughs> I don't know, Mr. Detective Goodman was in the in the evidence room. And that's why you thought he looked suspicious? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked that man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. <laughs> That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked to touch a gunman to show his ID card? What did he do? He pulled out his Glock on me he and then he shot me. He almost had to say, he pulled out a Glock, sir. That's the thing. Some of the <laughs> Oh, well, close enough. Maybe that's why he's having horrible dreams where he's an apple getting peeled. <laughs> then he pointed a knife at me. What? Sure, are you sure you I was flustered as you as you are right now? But I whooped and leaped at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. Do unto others before what they do upon you. My own father's words, sir. What, what happened then? Oh shit! I'm still bleeding from my ankle. I forgot. I need to stop picking that shit. <laughs> well, my eyes, sir. Everything went white. Then I woke up. I was here. Right. He was in a rage and he beat the shit out of Detective Goodman. Yeah. Me Meekins turned into the Hulk and he just absolutely clobbered him. Yeah, I, I really want to wonder who the fuck is the other. Because there's two murders. One of them's Detective Goodman. Who the fuck's the other guy? <laughs> well, I, I can't. I'm not sure if it's actually two people because didn't they say they didn't find a body for one of them? They didn't? That's, it's like what they said. I can't remember if that was just what one person said, I mean, we or have if that's what they actually said. Like, I mean, we have a picture of Goodman in the back with so much shrunk, but then what, then they said that there was a murder at the the evidence room. Yeah. I don't know. Fucking. <laughs> so, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim, whom he met at the scene of the crime, didn't show his ID card. In other words, they don't have any way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared oh. from the evidence room... You're right, then. We don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That, that's what I wanted to say. That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here. He told me that I had to be him, sir, on that day at that time. He did the good man was definitely in the evidence room. That's what he said. But you don't remember the events clearly? No, but the videotape was quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The crime, my crime, the crime I swore to stamp out. It's there, that's me, it's on tape. And you wait until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, really sorry. I'll hand over my badge, you don't deserve it. No, 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 thanks, I have my own. Well, I guess we better go check out the crime scene. Wow, this is the first time in an Ace Attorney case that we've had video evidence for the crime. We've had photo evidence. But yeah, but video. video. Hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the Chief Detective's desk. 
is Police Chief Gant. Oh my god, everyone I'm voicing is coming to the forefront. And you're sure this is it? Hmm? You know what it means if... You know what it means if there's anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's utmost certainly perfect. We checked all of his drawers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats. Under his desk cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. Wait, wait, wait. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, deal. Y yes, sir. We'll see how the place again, sir. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> right, my boy. Have you been swim much? Oh, ho, ho, Chief Gant reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? I don't know, it just felt right. <laughs> I get it? It felt right. Oh, did you hear his theme? Yeah, it's so good. You want to see my cool badge? <laughs> I was wondering, can you take a look at this? Oh, I'm sorry, Raito. I'm throwing through that stuff, throw, I say. Go find that guy who can't seem to sit still out there, the busy one. The guy who can't sit still, does he mean Detective Gumshoe? Oh, I think he means Detective Detective. Either way, either him or the dancing blue badger. Or both. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, Worthy? Oh, you know, we're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. <laughs> well, yep, well, there's no end of trouble with that boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good for having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you you got someone else found guilty of that case, right, Raito? Oh, I'll get Von Karma. <laughs> Dracula's back, get down! <laughs> a legend he was, undefeated for his 40 year career. But in court, you fixed it so he was caught for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office has been in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, it, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what you inquire committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. What? <laughs> it's downright odd, I tell you. The detective gets killed on our turf, too, I mean. They're... they're being prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible! Yes, but I know... but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time, that's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, Raito, I can't give away all of our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive, but I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate the most of all is hiding stuff secrets. Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the chief of detectives traps shut. Oh, he was the one you were picking on earlier? Huh, you saw that? Whoops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. No. <laughs> hey, do you tell me what you did last didn't he just say, like, oh, I was supposed to keep that a secret? Oh, I was just telling my labor about it. Poor Gumshoe. I wish we could see him There's more. There's a dancing blue badger. You didn't want to see that. Here, let me s do we need to show him anything? Yeah, drug his memory. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, you had to see that. <laughs> Uh, what exactly do the chief of police want you to do? Well, see over there? That's Goodman's guest. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. Then he took away every piece of garbage in that trash can. So, nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. Lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The day on it is February 21st. Better make a note of that, just in case. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's really obvious. It's his fucking hat. That, too. <laughs> half written document dated 
on February 21st can only be submitted to Chief of Police. I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Yeah, that's our hint for us to be like, be like Let's get oh, the fuck oh, out of here! We should, we should go check this evidence, you know. I didn't ID, he didn't even finish writing his ID. Five, he crossed out the nine because he messed up. This was on the 21st. Yep. Uh, steak lunch. Wait. Wait, there's a barcode! <laughs> I didn't know! That's really... She must need beef. She probably just wrote it generically. Uh, yeah, let's hope so. Of course, as a scientist, I have to check what additive she used. Go to them. Huh? It says here, hours of sweat and labor. So that's why the sauce is so salty. Ooh. I'm scared. Wow, my mouth is watering. <laughs> I don't like the way that you did that. <laughs> I could almost hear the sound of steak frying on the grill. Shrimp on the barbie. There's no doubt it's cold and tough by now. No, I'm sure it's delicious. Miss Star poured her heart into making this. As long as you didn't put any other organs in there. Oh yeah, I had steak and potatoes for lunch today. It was so good. I nuked in the microwave for like seven minutes. Hell yeah. Yep. Well, okay, good. I was like... Examine. You have to show it quickly. Oh yeah, she's like, this reminds me of my sister. This cactus is my sister. <laughs> oh, you mean it reminds you of your sister? No. You need to investigate the room, but you need Gant's permission first. Talk to Gant again. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? <laughs> Not by wish I was. I think that's the only thing in here. <sighs> I probably should have figured that I should talk to him again. <laughs> Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Hmm, well, I never thought the day I would come when Raito asked me for help. I was wondering if we can go investigate the evidence room? <laughs> no. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> Now, nah, Raito. Actually, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to investigate at all. <laughs> Raito, please, do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow $50? I give them $50, no problem. Hey, can I borrow $200? I got merch coming up. <laughs> so, go ahead and investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show, you never know until you ask. Thanks, Emma. And here you go, you can borrow this. Hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? Who is it? Whose is it? It's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Y yes, sir. It's an honor. You go running. You just go running along and do your best now. Later, folks. Bye, bye, Ganondorf. He does look like Ganondorf, mixed with Trump, with like the orange uh, skin instead of the orange hair. <laughs> I don't like that image. <laughs> Ganondorf and Trump having a kid yeah. and being Gant. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty cool on my label, doesn't it? Just like a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We get to go to the evidence room now, sir. Selling Meekins. <laughs> I think this place is having a bad influence on the girl. Finally. We can finally go to the scene of the fucking crime already. Wait, oh, we can't see the ID oh, that no. we're given? I mean, it's just a generic one for yeah, guests. So. Yeah, but like the blurred out thing, it said Bruce Goodman on it. Oh, really? They just probably just used the same assets. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. But I was wondering if we could check it out. I was like, oh, that'd be interesting that like the guest one is also Bruce Goodman. That means that <laughs> that it was a guest that was in there wearing like his hat and whatnot. Yeah. All right. Fucking. Do we gotta look at the door and be like, swipe it? And we're like, oh my god, we did it. The evidence room is beyond that door. See, it says yeah, Bruce I see Goodman. Bryce, yeah, they just use the same asset. And we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. Well, you gotta scan it. It won't open. You gotta scan it, girl. Aha, uh -huh, the car reader is turned off, see? What is the security guard thinking? Well, you don't want anyone in there. Howdy, partners. Well, what's made my Bambino sky so gray? Bring back Gumshoe. <laughs> uh, Officer Marshall. Why does it have to be him? 
What's that? Why does it have to be him to look for? As you may have surmised, this here is my saloon. Uh, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw. That <laughs> card you got there on your chest? That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw. Well, what you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. Crime scene's awaiting. Beep. Was so it the car reader's back on? While we're here, I was wondering if I can ask you some questions? Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you, hombres. You're busy then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said that you had no mind to tangle with us, hombres. <laughs> Alright. Too bad I'm talking Quick, to you anyways. Throw him a steak! <laughs> I was wondering if we could talk to you. Sorry, Bambina. Now I'm off to roam the lands like a tumbleweed on the wide prairie. Like a gunslinger, loading his six shooter, I say a little prayer. I don't like the noise. <laughs> what was that all about, Mr. Ray? I have fucking no idea. I think he just was too hungry to talk. You're just saying that because his stomach was growling. He had no idea what he was talking about either. Well, in any case, we need to get cracking on this investigation pronto. Oh, I was wondering if we could talk to you. He's like, fuck yourself. <laughs> well, you want to throw him a steak? Throw him a bone, to say? That smell, ah, reminds me of Texas. Are you from Texas? So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? Oh, yeah, is this... No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, uh yeah, Miss Star. What? Well, what's this? What? What's wrong? I don't know, it's a fucking steak. A, a filet steak lunch. I see, I see. What? <laughs> I don't see, I wonder what it means. A steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. Alright, Bambina, you win. Ask anything. Finally, it seems like he's willing to talk. Finally, hey, if you want to be a methagotter, you could have picked up the rice that was here and eaten it while you were talking. <laughs> Shares back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence, but the only thing they trusted was their shooting hand. Uh, this is neither wild nor west here. Ah, oh, but that and this are two different things entirely. I guess so. I'm lost. Me too, I'm a... I would say we need some evidence to get anywhere with this guy. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I thought you were just talking to him. I was like, this is a weird-ass conversation. Fuck. Alright. What well. about... What about the knife? I bet the other knife. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that was their case. Oh, shit, never mind. Maybe if we talk to him, he'll yeah. give us some kind of hint. Don't, didn't you learn by now? Talk first, evidence later. <laughs> I like evidence first, talk never. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got a good eye, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Act oh. Actually, Officer Meekins at the dungeon center told us. Ah, oh, that poor little doggy. Poor Maybe. guy. I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. Since I got demoted from detective two years ago. Well, might not look like it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. Really? So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? I was jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> in <What>? the bathroom. <laughs> I'm thinking of that like scene from uh from South Park where um where like Butters' dad calls uh, calls home and like Cartman's like filling in for Butters oh, and yeah. he's like impersonating him and and uh, his dad's like well, uh, what are you up to Butters and he's like he's like oh geez dad well I'm just here jacking it <laughs> <laughs> jacking my hot spicy wiener. <laughs> Excuse me, young man. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Is that your car? No, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. Great. So, we have... 
We have Edgeworth with a red sports car. We have <laughs> Wright with his bicycle. Yeah. And then we have... This guy's on a fucking this horse. This guy rides a horse. Yeah, and then Gumshoe just runs everywhere. He can't afford it. <laughs> no, Gumshoe rides me. Anyway. <laughs> there's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take the machines much. Kinda like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? That shit's terrible. I don't know, and fucking broccoli's gross. Miss Starr told us something. She said you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. It's all gone now, like a drinking hole, like a prairie fire. I don't get where the prairie is. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Starr, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't West. let it go. <laughs> Let's go gambling! <laughs> That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. Probably a murder. There are some things you better not, not know in Bambina. Anyway, the case is officially dead as of two days ago. Statue of limitations? Two days ago, the day... The the day of our case. That's right. The evidence transferals. Edgeworth was talking about the transferals too. Is that where the statute of limitations ran up on the case? Mmm. I don't know. I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen! Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well. I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower in my steaks. I don't like any stewed vegetables, apparently. Fucking fuck stew. <laughs> any, any stewed vegetables that look like a tree, I don't like. Not me a good baked potato, though. <laughs> the easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekin mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekin's and Detective Goodman, are they on one of these tapes? I reckon they might be. You're a security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. I got it. That's the card reader by the door. Card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Oh, the five, fuck is seven, 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 seven. Five, eight, four, two, one, eight, nine. That's, that's, uh... Goodman's. Yeah. So this is the ID at, record. At 514. And then I'm guessing 4989, 596 is Meekins. Mm hmm Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina. I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. It probably is. It, you had to end it. Whatever. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove that this record size is stabbing. Oh, I don't know. That you had to swipe a card or to get into the fucking crime scene. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? <laughs> the whole transferal thing. We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here under the press eye and detective supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happened to the evidence after two years? It oh. blows up. <laughs> it's just, we put them in the incinerator, actually. We we stick a thing of TNT on it and blow the fuck up. You know what they did to those ET cartridges? We just filled them in that hole. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the county sheriff's department. I am. That's what we call transferal. Do it every February. Huh. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Oh. Never to be reopened again. Never to be investigated. That happened to the SL9 two days ago. I guess that doesn't. I guess they're like, oh, it doesn't matter what happened in the case. You can't reopen it. Wow, I love the evidence room. Is Missile in here? No, Missile's not in here. You can see the fishing pole we never borrowed. <laughs> yeah. It's quiet. The investigation must be over. So this is the evidence room. 
It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. <laughs> N nice try, M Mr. Wright. You, you can't scare me. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just telling you. <gasps> it's a ghost. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, I'm on a fucking wagon. S sorry, I thought you were a ghost. Uh. <laughs> you know, a Emma and I are just. You're on the same wavelength. <laughs> we're, we're just, we're just connected, honestly. I wouldn't recommend going around and smacking ghost on the head, pal. It was true what I heard. I don't know. Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if someone asked me, Sir, can I borrow fifty dollars? I'd say I give you fifty dollars, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's desire, and knock yourself out. Is he gonna please I'm gonna predict it now, he's gonna harp about the fifty dollar thing. Like I can I can borrow fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, Chief of Police can't. Loan anyone 50 bucks? <laughs> Even me? <laughs> I, I can buy so much discount ramen with that. I was just thinking that like his pace cut, he's getting like more and more cut after a while. <laughs> he needs it. Oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Oh, good for you, buddy. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief, so now you're boss for a day. Thanks, Gumshoe. Did you think? <laughs> First of all, you'll want to have this. Ooh, what is it? Evidence room floor plan, scene of the stabbing. Oh, a detective. At LD. Oh, there, there's where he got stabbed! Alright. So, Detective Gumshoe, you're boss for the day? That's right. It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> He's got thick ass eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They were using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> of course. I'm a detective, after all. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open. A little ID cards, I'm guessing. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. Say goodbye. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee right now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. SL9 incident, of course. Wait, what does he have to do with it? <laughs> that was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. What the fuck is this case about? <laughs> maybe we should go... Maybe we should have him tell us more about the case. I don't remember what the fuck SL9 was about, so... <laughs> this place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed, so only one detective can open it. Or at least using their ID cards? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Wow, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. <laughs> How long have you been on the force? That sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Oh, so it's fingerprinted. Right hand? Oh, you mean you fingerprint? Okay, that is pretty cool. Exactly, pal. Lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. You know what? This this game took place in uh, like 2001. That's when the game was made. That's pretty innovative that they they thought of like fingerprint technology to open things. Yeah. <gasps> oh shit! So, so the only locker we can open is our own. Is that his? <laughs> I just saw a little reference to a certain someone in the next game. <laughs> Funny, they look like normal lockers. You, it actually looks like like bodies you put in a morgue. <laughs> it's on the them. latest model. There's a trick to the handle. See. The handles. It's like one of the cyber trucks where you gotta like push on it, and then the handle pops out. <laughs> On the other side of the handles is the sensor, and if the wrong person touches it, they exactly. get shot. You get a shock. <laughs> no, I said it's shot. Point not, blank. <laughs> not shock. Shot. Like with a gun. With a T. <laughs> if that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. 
when they just like, oh my god, he's my. Oh god, we just took one of these lockers. Only a sign detective's prince can unlock it. Incubator lamps light up when opened. Please, please let me look through. Detective Gumshoe's locker. Please slide over. I need. Ah. Oh. Wait, his locker has a bloody handprint on it. Wait, what? What's this blood? It's a little worn. There's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright, what if there are other bloodstains left <gasps> in this room? Okay, time to fucking spray shit in here. We should try here testing fluid. Why is there paint in here? Locker. This place is stuffed with evidence, stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Hmm. It won't open. No shit. Do you think it would? Hey, pal, our security is high tech around here. So high technical. Is that a car door? <laughs> That's the door we just came in through. Looks like you don't. We don't need the an ID card to get out. I wonder what would happen if Officer Marshall cut the power while we were inside. We'd we'll be fucking trapped. Let's hope he remembers we're in here. Look at the car door. Wow! Look at this big pile of junk in the corner. It looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. Yeah. Oh, look, it's the metal detector too! Oh, I'm technical. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is. That's where you... Ah, that's my personal pole. I never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Alright, pal, that's that metal detector. The one that led to the solvent of that case out in Gord Lake, remember? Alright, wow, it feels like ages ago. Also, don't forget about DL6, the more important case here. Huh, and, uh, I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that. As a bug sweeper. Oh! I'm sure we'll come in handy and solve in some case sooner or later. Wow, that is a reference. <laughs> When was this case made? I, th I think this was a little bonus afterwards on the Wii, but... That cheap looking box? Can't judge a person or a machine by their cover. You gotta look at their heart. Damn, they really- they did two callbacks! Well, like, I guess a... Not really callback, because they appear in the future. Damn, in well, this What is this saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. Okay. True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the Blue Badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence <laughs> room? Why don't you be like, that's not a bloody handprint. It's actually like Detective Gumshoe wiping red paint on his locker. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this one's open. And the red indicator light up with the door's lit. That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. That in Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, you can't disturb the crime scene. Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. Well, you just sever the hand and just carry it around. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Never mind, don't do that. <laughs> wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. What the fuck is that? The, the such a good gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. Oh, SL9? The case! The SL9 instant pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces there? I don't. Another piece of SL9 evidence. I wonder what shape these these pieces go into before it broke. <sighs> no, oh, I'm sorry. You, you want a whole big SMG4? <laughs> no. Oh. You want to try to put it back together? It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Ah, right, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why, well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. You with the puzzle. That's why I always carry it through on a tube of glue. Oh, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting up the rest. Alright. It's a mini game. Yay! Oh, you can rotate. Oh. Okay, that looks like the top. And that looks like a top. Okay, yeah. yeah so, top. 
So maybe that piece and rotate it? Hang on. Oh, wait, wait, the middle one. Went one over, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rotate that shit. Uh, um. then that one? Okay. Then that one? Yeah, yeah. And then. Hi, Tinker. Hey, Tinker. Uh, rotate it. It's a fucked up looking vase. <laughs> Which area are we going for again? <laughs> That one? Okay, sorry, I couldn't see where the red line was. Now it now it's that one? No the, the Yeah. And it's the the vase. The, the big one with the blood splatter. Maybe. Uh Okay, and then it is the other one. Instructions unclear. Dick stuck in blunder. Where's the- Are you missing a piece? Huh? Oh, well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. Problem is finishing it. Where's some pieces stolen? I bet they're missing to begin with. Still. That doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. Why don't we ask Marshall about it? Be like, <laughs> unstable hey, <is> this jar. <laughs> jar pieced back together from fragments found at the crime scene. A piece is missing. Can we just be like, hey, was this like this when you guys recovered it originally? Or like... Oh yeah, you guys, you guys spray the area. Yeah. You gotta check for blood. No shit! <laughs> That's crazy. I would have never guessed that there'd be blood in that crime scene. That must be one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe it's that gumshoe was a werewolf. Oh, an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it in the floor plans. Could it have just been that that jar contained it? If that, that jar has been sitting there for a while, for like at least two years, in this evidence room, it would have been dried up by now. Well, I don't think it matters whether this is dry blood or not. Yeah. This is just traces of blood. I mean, oh, I think it meant like the blood came from the jar. No, I'm saying that. Oh. But, well, I meant like it would have been but like. But dry blood would, have, would still appear like. Well, I was thinking picture. it wouldn't be like liquidy, right? Well, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's liquidy, because we can't see it on the ground. Yeah. This just means that there's traces of it, like, after they cleaned it. You know how they say in, like, in SVU, like, they, uh, they, like, try and, like, bleach it in sometimes, but, like, sometimes they... There's still evidence, yeah. Yeah. Or, like, places, you know, you know, you can see, like, cum in <laughs> ultraviolet lights. <laughs> yeah. It's just residue. Yeah. What about the... Don't forget about the locker! There you go. Analysis! I knew it! This is someone's right hand print! What? What's the matter, Detective? Th th this locker, it's mine! It's yours! But please, you have to help me when they come and take me away. I promise you'll testify I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. <laughs> <laughs> You're a detective! He knows. He knows. <laughs> what about on the other side? Do a little slide to the left. Because what if there's blood at the entrance? That means it traveled. Any on the Isavocator? Oh, there is! I'm just covering my ground. 
It looks like someone's fucking left hand. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murder to touch this spot when you flood the door. It might just have something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got right there, pal. What oh, this? It's called luminal testing fluid. I bought it off Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I bought it for twenty dollars. Where'd you get your hands on that? Amazon. <laughs> huh? I'd like to get some too. The police. I'll just borrow fifty bucks from the chief. Where did you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I better jot this down on the floor plans. Where do you fucking get this shit? That the, that gumshoe was like, wow, I need to get me some of that shit. I think that's all the... I mean, you want me to look and make sure? Sure. Okay. In the meantime, I will be... I wish I could just like pull it down and just like, spray across, but... Examine the entrance, yeah, and then talk to Marshall. Alright, okay, here it is. Anything? Uh. Present Goodman's note or switchblade knife to Goodman. I like to Goodman's note and that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because it's SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from a case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Oh. And then talk to Edgeworth. Sorry, talk to Gumshoe. And you know, no, I didn't want no, that. No, 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 no. I didn't like that. There you go. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? Serial killing. Oh, a serial killing? Maybe I don't want to be involved in this after all. <laughs> well, the killer made a mistake. Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that nab. And this was two years ago? I put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors? About forging evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Oh. Oh, what do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, you see. So, so, I switched my knife. The victim took the evidence out of the evidence locker himself? Is that all we talked about? <laughs> Anything else to present you, Mr. Gumshoe? You want yeah. my badge? Present ID record. Oh, we're supposed to get the ID record. Huh. Where the fuck do we get the ID record? Oh. That's interesting. Okay, you're supposed to get it from Marshall. Oh, was I supposed you to get You gotta talk to him. Not talk to him, you gotta present a piece of evidence to him. Which you've been shoving into everyone's face so far. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> the other ID. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's not nice show to everyone. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. Number on this is... Oh. Man, I didn't know I got a deep voice. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us the ID card record again. Yep, so Goodman entered and then Meekins, I guess? Look, the fourth number, it's a perfect match. So, it was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So he asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing, suddenly he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card, then why wouldn't he point a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you his ID card right here. Yay! I got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. 
Wow, that's crazy. Man, that's a really crazy thing. I would never have thought that. Here you go, Gumshoe. <laughs> oh yeah, we can start filling it in with the names. Can you take a look at this? This is an ID record of the people that came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Oh! What? <laughs> what is it? The, 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 that, that second number. It's not your ID, is it, Dr. Gumshoe? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth. <gasps> what? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? Okay, I'm about to shit myself. So if we look at it, now will there... Why would Edgeworth have come in the evidence room? So now if we look at it, does it... Alright, so that's him. And then Blank came in. Then Bruce Goodman. And I'm assuming that end one's Meekins. But we gotta confirm it. Well, there's two of Meekins on here. Is there? Oh, yeah, you're right. There's also if, if fucking that, triple seven up top. No. Yeah. Which, I feel like the seven one, I feel like that's the guest one. So a guest came in before the stabbing? Like, before Edgeworth? I think so. But... Anyways. We could show it to Meekins, maybe he can confirm some of the from some of the numbers on there. Uh, I, th I thought he might fill it in. Well, I guess he has no reason to go in there. Yeah. He just gotta watch the place. He doesn't go in there. I mean, Meekins is the only other cop. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Meekins is the only other cop that we know of that, like, uh, that's still around that we can, like, throw this at. Yeah, go there, and then detention center. And then Meekins is still, still posing like a good little church boy. Officer Meekins, can you take a look at this? I'm sorry, sir. Real sorry. I don't know what that is. I think you should ask Mr. Edgeworth, sir. Is Mr. Is Edgeworth even back from being disciplined? We could we can go check. We can go to the parking lot and then go up to his office. <laughs> the burner burner. Take a look at this. Nah, she ain't telling you shit. She hasn't been an officer for like two years. I don't know. I was, I was thinking maybe she knows like if one of them's her like boyfriend's ID number or something. Yeah. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> My oh shit, he's not here. <laughs> Where are we supposed to fucking go again? Time to pull out the the, the thingy. Okay, and then you give that. Oh. What? Hold on. Edward, pan right and examine the glove hanging at the police tape. Oh, I saw that. I know where that is. We wear controls. Someone left a glove here, but only one. That a gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal. Making me out to be <laughs> some kind of absent-minded detective. That it's evidence from D case, you know. Yeah, but you need a tag on it. You mean SL9? It does have a tag on it. Tagged evidence from SL9. Show me thin rubber glove. Hey, pal. Look at the time. Is there something you need to be going? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry com uh, committee should be let now. So oh, so now we'll get to see- I'm going to give them my reference. <gasps> Another reference to the fucking set. I think that's a reference to the third game! Oh my god. Might help, you know. A report? You mean the note written on the back of the flyer? No, that's a reference to the second game. God damn, there's so many references! <laughs> that one says nothing but no problems. Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off pal later. Oh, he's so nice. I should probably see what Edward has to say too. Okay. Let me double check. If this is like the last thing that's done, then we could just talk to Edgeworth and yeah. just end this shit. And yeah, spray, yeah, the thing. Yeah, go to Edgeworth. <laughs> Use the microphone. We don't have a microphone. Okay, that's for the DS. Yeah, Edgeworth is the last thing that we do. Hey, Edgeworth is the last thing we do. Haha, <laughs> like, because he's hot. Oh, oh my god, the bellboy's here! Oh, guess, my apologies. Oh, it's you. What the f. Have we met before? Huh? Miss Edgeworth, I, I beg your leave so long. 
Does he think we're Edgeworth? Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. <laughs> Everyone's coming back. <laughs> right. He has the hotel bring him tea service. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you're back in the district prosecutor's office inquiry. Wait a minute, how far away is our office from Edgeworth? Because the hotel is right across the street from us. <laughs> Hell no. I am. By the way, the Tete Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, oh, yes. You brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. I can't wait to see that fucking case. You're gonna have a field day with that one. Uh, the real information is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. The whole, the whole thing. <laughs> so how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealed evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. I mean... Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They do? They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney, however. Something happened? He gave control of the investigation over to the police department. Oh. The police department? Yeah, the yes. police department. <laughs> Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police gone. Oh, so he's head of detective. Oh, God. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, well, I ask you, why? All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, but still. Well, I never see him this out of sorts. And then, look at this paper. Wow, we have so much shit on us. Oh, my God. All right, I better check this now. As I was saying, I. What? What's this? A record of ID card usage. Yeah, in the evidence room. Edris, you went to the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why did you need to go in there? Why? Why, Mr. Edris? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go by Chief Gaunt, no less. Oh. The chief of police. He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. What the fuck is that? He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solid, right? It would have to be if evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. That's why we keep hearing about the SL9 thing and, our, and everything's contradicting that. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. AI-16? Stubborn as always. I've told you this has nothing to do with the current case. You know how many times we've heard that, Edgeworth, you fucking buffoon? Right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. Actually, yes, please. Can I, uh, can I get, like, camel meal? <laughs> I'll pass it on to you. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Ray, Mr. Edgeworth just told you no in a very polite manner. What side are you on anyway? Don't you want to get your sister off? <laughs> Maybe I should show him my best evidence I can get in a, some kind of reaction from him. I would look. <laughs> yeah, we did that. Okay, it's the thing that you've been showing off. Not the... It's the blank or the other blank. Not that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to know that you're a defense attorney! Yeah, there you go. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that evidence that you, the, the fuck, that ev- the fuck. <laughs> it doesn't even start with an E! <laughs> it was all about that case you are on, the SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. Thanks. Figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. You know, Paul. <laughs> we have to bring up so much fucking trauma with this kid. He must be talking about his father's murder on that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Yeah, start fucking trauma dumping already. That's all night incident was a heinous serial killing case. 
The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too then. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Andrew? What I want to know is why a deputy chief police is on the investigation. In truth, I use slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I had let him go, the blood would be on my hands. Yeah, I guess you're right. We won our guilty verdict, and a killer was executed. Wait, you didn't. Of course not. I hadn't touched the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, Chief Prosecutor wanted to know something. Ah, uh, oh, my sister, what? Ooh, what is it? If you were still studying forensic science. Huh, yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Ryan and I were using this. Luminal testing fluid, hmm. Well then. Might have use for this. Oh, what the fuck is that? Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints? Ooh! It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. F for me? Are you sure? We aren't the enemy, you know. <coughs> I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. Everyone's got fucking fingerprints? I, uh, thanks. How about giving these to the Gumshoe as well? I like the type that gun shoot you to chop too. He's gotta investigate. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing some suspicious handprints somewhere. I guess this is the last bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, at least when we start up again, we'll be right at court. And then we'll be hating our lives in court! I'm not making it easier on you. You're pulling up your fucking, like, gotcha game. <laughs> well, her investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, this blood on the. On the I, I, I couldn't read that. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that we'll have left behind the clearest print. Like the, well, I guess it's like this, so maybe like the, it's the, the pointer? Oh, okay. Well, it's at an angle, so you wouldn't get like, you'll get a partial print. Quit procrastinating, choose a finger. I want the thumb. Okay. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. I'm gonna start out. Oh. First, we sprinkle the aluminum pot around. Huh? How do I do that? Enter. See? Ah, it looks like I did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Wait a minute, how are we gonna do this? Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? With E. Excited! <laughs> Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. Okay. See? Wow, that looks like fun. Might get some you getting used to though. It's fine, it won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. O. I guess I better give it a shot. I was wondering, like, how the. Uh, uh, why to blow? I was wondering, because on the DS you're supposed to do the little pointer thing, like, cup. Yeah, you're supposed to, like, tap on the screen and then blow into the mic. I'm gonna use up all of our powder. God damn! What, we snorting cocaine? <laughs> uh -huh, you did, you found one. Well, it looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now yeah, you mentioned it, I guess it doesn't. What does this mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this hamper must have worn gloves. Okay. I'll tell you we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. Oh, we're at it. Why don't we look for other prints? Oh, yeah. Other prints? What do you mean? Let me look the locker door closely again. Is that a partial? Seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Huh. Fingerprints outside the blood. Oh, yeah. The fucking gray smudge. Watch it be gumshoes. Because <laughs> it's his fucking locker. You did it. You got a thumbprint. 
Little up. A little, little, little to the left. See, how much fucking powder do we need? A little bit to the right. A little up. <laughs> Are we doing coke? Maybe more in the middle? Coat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now blow. <laughs> Yay, a printed clearance dazzling! Uh, dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? That's quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? Yeah, watch she just becomes you. I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. What other person you think these left these prints? Huh? How am I supposed to know who is it? I can make a pretty good guess. Bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would we most likely find on this evidence lock? Oh, it is Gumshoe. It's right! <laughs> Oh yeah, what is it, like the, the 13 points or some shit? I guess 16 in this case. Cameron, you did it! You found the matching print! Aha! Uh -huh. So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me a so what look. I guess probably because I was thinking so what. Okay, so you came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there's one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. <laughs> they wanted you fucking to fucking kidding me. <laughs> okay, want to try using this? Yeah, search for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you, something friends. Hey, with the blood was wiped away, right? And if I you with this chemical mean, right? Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. That means he's no prince. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is five? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left out of the bloody hand. Okay, so we gotta get a good one. Don't worry, it's not gonna be outside of it. <laughs> the fuck? What? What am I supposed to- Wait, you just gotta select one that you want. Yeah, I'm hitting A! Here, let me check. Well, A, 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 D oh, here. Let me try it. Is it Y? It says A to dust. Give me a try. No. Okay. I can go for it. Oh, you shit. Okay. No, 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 move. Yeah. The spirit. Okay, so it has to be in the blood. It says other than the bloody hand. Wait, is it other? Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck! God damn it! I fr I'm sorry, I was recently playing on a Switch controller, so I pressed the goddamn wrong button. <laughs> Would highlight uh <coughs> this would highlight yellow, right? It's supposed to. The f it's I did it! <laughs> spot. 
I guess you're supposed to see where the other fingerprints are and to determine how else the hand's supposed to be. Anyway, you, you think this is enough coke for, for tonight? Probably not. <laughs> Don't worry, I got yeah, it. Yeah, it's fine though. Okay. That's it? Huh, I gave him my best shot. That kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? I got a partial at least, but it doesn't look like we'll get a clear result from this print. Okay, let's try a different finger then. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, okay, so if it was right here, and that's the thumb, so maybe like go around here. No, it it just highlighted yellow. It did. Yes. I thought that was where we just were. I mean, it might be, but that's stupid if it is. <laughs> it is the same spot. Stupid sometimes. <laughs> okay, so if this is right here, then maybe the next one's over here somewhere. How big do you think their fucking thumb is? <laughs> no, that's the thumb, right? Because it's with the left hand. Oh, this fucking area somewhere. Oh, fuck. Double checking these just in case. <laughs> see it. Alright. <laughs> Let me look at the little guy thing. Where'd you get it? It was the ring finger. Oh. Bye bye. That's a very good print. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> How much clearer do you want this thing to be? You need more coke on it. Are you fucking- are you fucking <laughs> kidding me?! <laughs> that, that's not clear enough?! <laughs> you did it. <laughs> hey, it's a little up. Marshall was in here? You got a match, camera. <laughs> hey, these fingerprints, they... Who's are they? Who's this someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall? Yeah, I guess fucking so. That's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. It's, it's blood, Emma. <laughs> this is definitely different from Detective... Gumshoes prints. The luminescent reaction, the blood, and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh, oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a white blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you call decisive evidence. I... I don't believe it. He did it. He murdered that man! That's crazy. I was like, I was like joking about him like being Can in there, hurt? but... <laughs> I'm sorry you got really angry at the end. Fucking shit mechanic. <laughs> trial former! Yep, I guess we're... We're doing this shit again. It's about to be in the trial. Yep. So, I'm good to bring up... New evidence. Yeah, so we'll probably have a recess in the middle and then the rest of the trial. Yeah. But... I'm sorry you got mad. <laughs> I didn't mean to piss you off. <laughs> no, it's shit game mechanics. It was a lot easier in the DS, alright? Yeah, because you blow out your DS. Yeah, you go like... Then you go... Yeah, the audience is going to love to hear that. Yeah. But... Anyways, at least we're turning over some some new evidence. Mm-hmm. Realizing that... The, the detective definitely didn't die in two places at the same time. Yeah. But, anyways, we're gonna get to the bottom of this in the next one. Yep. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.